What's up developers and problem solvers? We're out checking in. I want to bring you guys another video today. And today we're going to talk about C Sharp and the painful mistakes you guys make during the interview process. I want to clear things up and make sure you don't make those mistakes and get you that dream job you want or just the first job to really kind of get things off the ground as a junior developer. So guys, my name is Rod, the IT guy, and I'm going to help you guys out today. So let's start with this. First of all, listen here closely. A confident answer is more important than the right answer. Yes, the confident answer is the most important thing you can do during a job interview. A lot of us coming in trying to figure out, hey, I need to get the right answers and all that. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna convey that you know what you're talking about, but at the end of the day, guys, we have to really show that confidence level to be able to say, hey, I can do this, I've done that, I got this, and be able to communicate that via the questions and the answers that you give. Are you gonna be able to provide every and any, all the right answers? No, you're not, but if you come in with that confidence level to know you can do it, have the experience to back you up, that's gonna really take things up a notch for you guys. So, let me, get, let me tell you guys a story right quick. And this is going to be my first kind of experience with C Sharp as far as just my first job and learning how to do C Sharp. And C Sharp's a different animal, guys, because it's an enterprise level application. It's not like PHP or a lot of the open source stuff where it's pretty straightforward and you got a, a community behind it. No, it, it has a community, but it's got this level of more of professionalism that comes along with it. Not to say it's more professional, I'm just saying that's what you get across when you're dealing with Microsoft and the certifications and all this structure that C Sharp has versus um, open source PHP or other languages like that. That being said, guys, you go into these um, interviews and you think that's what people want to see. Structure. You have to be right. You have to get everything right and have say it a certain way. And yeah, that's true to a certain extent, guys. But at the end of the day, you are solving problems. You've been solving problems the whole time. So I'm coming into this um, learning C-sharp. And at the beginning, I try to be all polished and rigid and things like that, which, yeah, you want to have a certain level of structure, but it does boil down to solving problems. Problems. I don't care how rigid, how enterprise capability a software have, if you don't execute, you don't write the right code, it's not efficient, you're not going to win. So again, you start off with the problem being solved. It can be a simple C sharp writing a few lines of code and actually getting the problem solved. You don't have to come with this enterprise level solution for every single C sharp project you have. That being said, guys, this translates to the interview. If you be, you're able to explain answer questions really quickly confidently and tell why you did your approach even if it's the wrong answer they don't agree with you they know how you came up with the answer and that's the most important thing they know that you have critical thinking skills you're able to step through a problem just fine and they can come in and say oh I see where you're coming from but with that particular piece of software we had to use this code and then you say "Oh, okay next time I do it that way under that condition you still get the job even if you don't get those type of questions right but if you come with a confident approach saying hey I did used to do this in the future it worked under that situation they correct you and say hey this was the situation but I get what you're coming from life is good even if you get the problem wrong guys or the question wrong so kind of keep that in mind throughout the interview process and make sure you resonate with that person guys so if you guys haven't already, let me plug my seven step guide, guys. Links are in the description box to really take your C Sharp career to the next level and help you during the job interview process. And also, this seven step guide gives you access to our community. And the best part of all, it's free, guys. So, links are in the description box. Go check that out why it's free. So, that being said, let's get back into the three painful mistakes, guys. And we kind of briefly talked about number one. Ooh get that out of my face so we briefly talked about number one guys low confidence kill the mood of an interview you guys want that interview to be nice and smooth and everybody's happy there's an exchange of value there life is good everything's good to go 
But you guys kill the mood with this low confidence, with the looking down, not necessarily answering questions, shivering. Yes, you're gonna be nervous. Yes, everybody nervous when they're in job interviews. But that's why I tell you guys, stick to what you know. Stick to your story, your resume, the story of what you've done in the past because you're gonna be more confident in what you've done and be able to communicate that effectively because it's you, it's the problems you solve. It's how your approach to go by doing things instead of you going in trying to study like a formal test and try to memorize all this stuff you just take what they want you to do or what the resume requires or the job description and map it to your resume and things that you've done in the past if you do that exercise which i tell you in my seven step guide below it's going to make your resume your your job interview experience a whole lot better you're going to come across as more confident and guys let me tell you what let me tell you this Regardless of what answers you give, if you're looking down and you're giving the right answer, they're always gonna be wondering, is he lying? Is she lying? Dude, they're really confident in it. That just, it, they always gonna have that doubt. So even if you come in with a low confident answer, there's always doubt, guys. So confidence kill the mood of your, um, of your interview we don't want that guys we want you to be on the top of the list when it comes to candidates and that's being good and you got to kill that, that that low confidence guys so number two this is a two-way street guys it's not just you wanting a job being a beggar they need you too your skills they looked at your resume and brought you in there thinking that you can help their company. You are there to ask them questions, open dialogue. This actually conveys that you're confident that you ask them the right questions. Don't ask them just, okay, what's the name of your company or what industry you work in? Because that's something you can find out on their website. <laughs> but you can say, hey, I was looking to research your website and I saw you in this industry. How long have you been working on that specific product line? How does that translate to your tech stack? Is that something you're willing to uh, improve? Because I've done a project like that in the past and this is how we do to solve that to get more customers to the website and fill out that form. That's the kind of stuff that they want to hear. Even if they're okay on that, they know that you have knowledge in other areas or you can apply that same problem solving ability to find problems and solve them to other areas of their organization. Guys, this is golden for you. A lot of you average developers, this is where you are. You don't do this kind of stuff. You come in thinking that, oh, they're the, the high mighty job and I need a job. And I go into that in other videos why you should always have options and you should become, you come in at, at a position of power. So subscribe to the channel and you'll be getting that video soon or go, go check out my blog. But back to the original point, you always want to come in at a position of power, having options, guys. You don't want to have this your sole job. And most of the time, if this is your only option, that means you haven't got your skills up in a way that you communicate it to them so that you can put in in front of the right company at the right time to really put yourself in a position to be a high value rock star developer. Number three, guys. And this is gonna sound arrogant, but this you don't want you want to be confident, not arrogant. There's a difference. This is gonna sound uh, arrogant, but it's just your sheer confidence. You're supposed to walk in there like you already hired for that job, and the only thing they want to do is just verify what's on the resume and your soft skills. If you bring that approach to a resume, your C sharp skills, just explaining all the stuff you know about C sharp and how you solve problems and and how you're gonna help them out, and do it in a way that you're here to help them. Your skills translate to what they want. So both of you guys have that comfort level to say, hey, he have my best um, uh, he has my best interest in mind and he's confident enough he got the skill set the resume say it I believe him I see he, he I see he's confident and things are good and you just come in and executing guys this is what gets you that twenty thousand dollar pay increase versus you coming in lower value and just getting a bare minimum or they feel like they're giving you a shot you want them begging for you <laughs> these are the interviews you come in you kill and even if you screw up on the testing they still want you in because they like you and they know that hey 
I can work with this person. That's how you want to come in with an interview, guys, and that's how you're gonna get job, get a job. So be confident when you answer your questions. This is gonna be your best route to get that C-sharp job, and this is gonna really put you in a position to win. I know you guys want to get your C-sharp skills up. You thought I was gonna come in and talk about code all day. I do talk about the code in my seven-step guide once we get to the learning code section. It's free, so go check that out. And also, we talk about that in our free community community too guys so go ahead and sign up for that and I'll be building that out be patient with me I'm continuing to make that better and better um, over time get it while it's free because at some point we're gonna start charging for a lot of this stuff guys so like subscribe to the content if you guys don't agree with me comment below if you agree with me like and comment below also guys tell me your experience let me know where you at as far as just your job interview where you feel at and we're gonna have a conversation below like subscribe to the content i'll see you guys in the next video peace